Alright, I'm back on this tutorial and I just deleted the footer, I will add it later so so we can continue with the work and then I have six pictures I believe, six was limit, oh no, 24 was limit and we have the paging and everything uh, I want to make a great uh, rounded uh, corners of the pictures so this is my folder uh, of the content, uh, I'll be using also another downloaded script which I added in different pages, I'll just copy the script uh, back here and then, then I will just show you the script later on uh, I don't know on the internet it's called glossy uh, right 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 you just search for in our internet uh, glossy and glossy uh, was glossy you just call you just do it JavaScript glossy and uh, Check the size of it, 345. I have to make sure. Um, I'll upload it to the internet. I have to make sure. Was it? I, I think it was some megabytes or so. I'll uh, I'll check on one of my pages. Uh, I'll check the page source. Alright, we need another folder called corner. Let's copy it out. And then, 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 then. Copy it in. Yeah, we need a glossy, we need also a corner. And just copy it in somewhere in head. Uh, I will not be using different. I'll let it leave it like this, I'll just copy another folder called corner uh, you have to wait there you can listen to music <laughs> script uh, to the picture added it's uh, uh, class right use I'll check it uh, again on the page <laughs> this class description here this means the length of the radius I increase it to 10 and on the index file I added uh, uh, the JavaScript codes uh, you d I don't know just search it on the internet it's um, glossy pictures or JavaScript glossy you can download this script down just like that it was a web page uh, uh, mama. Uh, anyway, I will post a link on the description for this, and you get two folders of corner and glossy added to the root file, and then paste this code inside of the head page which you want to include the pictures to be rounded, and then on the in image just image tag just add this code here, and then you then you will get rounded images, and there are also nice features about this. You can add some shadows or Alright, I, I don't know if I want to add shadows here, but it's not the part of that uh, right now. Uh, so, what I did is, I have these pictures, but later on I will make them different. And now I want um, image sizes to be uh, 
For example, if there will be uh, one very wide image, it will limit it actually to the maximum height, so uh, the image will stretch out the whole page. Uh, I need to get, uh, I need to write a code uh, so the image are automatically resized. Uh, so this is the image uh, script, and now I need to uh, list image size. How was it? I will just find it on internet. Find it on my. Uh, na, 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 na. All right, I will need a pop-up window also. should be somewhere here. Alright, here it is. Uh, what it does, it, it lists out the image um, I don't know. This is the image link and it just gets out these this data from the image. So the height of the image is I'll copy it equal height, this is the height of the image and this is the wide of the image. Uh, so what, what I must do now, I want this image to be 100 pixels in any way. So I must write a code. Oh, I'll just write else. Uh, if wide is greater than height then in, in the opposite direction if wide is if height is greater than so I must make a proportion uh, I must make target target and uh, how what will be the max 100 pixels the same also here uh, the maximum max pix pixels all right I have three more minutes uh, now I must get the white. So the white is the biggest now. White. No, I mean new white. And I, I need proportion. Prop. You know, it's white divided with target. So if white is 500, it will be divided by 100. It will get 5. Uh, then I need new height. New, I mean white equals to uh, wide divided by proportion so if height if wide is 135 it will be divided by 100 you'll get 1.3 and if I want to get it back to 100 I need to uh, I need to just do it again and the new height is this one so the same with the the same with height better copy everything a new height all right uh, so now ah uh, I need also the I need in any case I need them I oh, know I don't need uh new weight. No, I I will need it, I will need it. Uh alright, so I need new height also. New who equals height divided by and also this one. So now what I must do if new and if there are these variables then do something if one of these variables are missing then do something else I'll check the time now alright I must end this tutorial now I will continue it further on later on